Hi, I'm Craig Power with Power Realty Advisors located in Hingham, Mass. And today we're answering the question, should we sell before we buy our next home? We're also talking about suitable housing contingencies. Should we sell before we buy another home? What do you do first? Do you buy or do you sell? Every situation is different. Some folks may be faced with different time constraints or financial limitations. I would start by saying you really need to understand the market that you're in. Right now, it's much easier to sell than it is to buy. I'm not breaking news here. It's a seller's market. Every real estate agent you know, including me, is telling you it's a great time to sell. And that's true, it totally is. But you'll notice we're not running around advertising what a difficult time it is to buy right now. In this market, it takes time. Uh, which brings me to my first question. Are you open to the thought of temporary housing after selling your current home? You know, the idea of being a renter for a little while, potentially moving twice, does that stress you out too much to even consider it? Now, if temporary housing is doable, that's great. We can still command top dollar for your current home and you'll have a roof over your head as we search for your next home. Renting for a little while is usually not plan A and it really depends on how strong of a stomach you have for that type of arrangement. But the fact remains, buying and selling at the same time, it really is unlikely that the purchase of your new home and the sale of your current home are just gonna line up perfectly without having to worry about any contingencies, any red tape, any caveats, and just thinking the days will line up correctly, it really is unlikely. So to make this all work, it really requires some patience and a little bit of flexibility. You may have heard of a suitable housing contingency. In a seller's market like this, all the leverage is on the seller's side. So you could list your home requesting a suitable housing contingency, and you'd very likely find a buyer that says, hey, listen, if that's what it takes to stand out from the crowd, stand out from other offers, I can be patient, you know? I can be flexible, and I can work with your schedule as the seller. A suitable housing contingency in real estate is a condition that can be included in a listing to tell buyers that this sale is contingent upon the sellers finding and procuring their new home, usually within a certain amount of time. The tricky part is the sellers reserve the right to cancel the transaction if they're unable to do so. Um, of course, the buyers in this case, right, you're not required as a buyer to actually include this in an offer. Uh, if you've ever heard the phrase, everything is negotiable, everything is negotiable. Theoretically, this comes at a price. If I'm the buyer and you're the seller and I'm agreeing to work with your schedule as part of the deal, when I'd prefer not to, uh, then I'm less likely to give you a higher offer, if that makes sense. Key word being theoretically. In this market, the reality is buyers have very little leverage. That's what I'm seeing. It's almost like they're just trying to meet seller demands at every turn, uh, which makes it especially hard to buy first instead of sell first. Ask anyone who's out there making offers contingent on selling their current home, even though the market's flying and properties are selling overnight, it's really hard to get those offers accepted right now. Let's say you're a seller, you're selling a home and you have multiple offers all floating around the same price. The smart move here is to weigh the strength of those different offers and usually that means what you're looking for is fewer variables, fewer contingencies. You want the safest and most secure and smoothest transaction, of course. So if you're someone out there who is making offers contingent upon the sale of your current home, you should know with all this demand, sellers are able to find someone who will meet their terms, okay? They set the terms and it's unlikely they wanna hand so much control over the transaction over to you. When you're making an offer like that, and this is such a tiny detail, but I did wanna include it, I find it helps to be as specific as possible in laying out the plan for the sale of your current home. So hear me out, think about it like this. Accept this offer today and we'll be listing our current home in two days. We're gonna list it at this price, price to sell. Have your plan be that specific where you actually have the price that you're listing your current home at. Um, open houses Saturday and Sunday. Offer to be accepted by Monday. Purchase and sale signed within 10 to 14 days. Boom, reasonable, clear and concise, and especially in a market where you can be confident about a home moving that is priced to sell. If you don't have any financial constraints, if you're liquid enough to buy a new home without using proceeds from the sale of your current home, you should do that. You should buy first. You can bide your time and pounce on the right opportunity. Similarly, you can worry about selling later and you can still command top dollar when in fact you do. This is a good position to be in. You can remove the home sale contingency from your offer altogether. Um, the cleaner the offer, the more likely it will be accepted. So much about real estate has to do with positioning. You may have heard the phrase cash position. Not only is it the cash that's available to you at any time, it's the credit that's available to you. It's your current situation 
with expenses and liabilities. Side note, to improve your cash position, it's really just about fixing the old balance sheet, right? It's really just good, basic personal finance. But the thought, the bigger thought, the bigger idea about cash position is putting yourself in a spot where you can seize an opportunity that others might not be able to. This is always a bit of wishful thinking, but if you do have financial constraints, if you do need to sell before you buy, uh, there's always the chance your stars align on an off-market property. That's the dream, right? Today's buyers know the deal. They've got ears to the ground, spies everywhere looking for off-market stuff. Aunt Peggy with the glass eye, trolling the neighborhood, gossiping with neighbors, trying to find a sweet deal for her nieces and nephews. Off-market hopefully means an opportunity for one-on-one -on -one negotiation. Maybe, just maybe, you'll track something down where they'll work with your schedule and your needs as the buyer. Thanks for watching. We've been posting some other videos on our Instagram, separate from our YouTube channel. If you get a chance to pop over there and check them out, the handle is at Power Realty Advisors. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.